Stress drunk. drunk. Hey, hey, all right. We've got uh, a new game here, and it's going to be something that I don't see too often in the YouTube landscape. But then again, I don't spend a whole lot of time uh, traversing the YouTube landscape when it comes to Let's Plays. Uh, but I don't see too many Let's Plays of shoot 'em ups uh, as we get uh, lowered by this uh, mechanical arm down into the vacuum of space. I do not know how the vacuum of space does not crush that cockpit. But uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, zooming around the universe in a fighter, like an F-14 looking thing, to play Gradius III. First things first here. Um, is there anything else to this demo? No, there's not. Um, let's go to the options, and the first thing you want to do is, or at least what I like to do, is change the shot to Y, missile to R, and power up to B. That way I can hold the shot button down with my with my thumb and then kind of use the other half of my thumb to activate the power-ups and hold down R to get the missiles going. And we also want to go to the edit mode. There's two things you want to look for here. One is ripple and the other is any kind of rotating shield. Um, the others don't really matter that much, but um, ripple covers the most real estate on the screen and uh, rotating shield lasts a really long time and, and it allows you to uh, kind of deal with enemies as they come instead of going crazy trying to try, trying to dodge stuff and what I like to do is use the first two power-ups as um, we'll look out the first two power-ups as uh, <coughs> as speed speed and then eventually get the uh, missile going there, the Hawk missile or whatever it's called. And I have the difficulty on normal, and this is normal right here. Like, it, this is tough because there's a lot going on. And here we go. We've got the ripple going. See, so once you get those, uh, this where it says S option on the bottom there, once you get those going, um, it makes your ripple dominate most of the screen. So it really, really helps. Yeah, there's a lot more projectiles on normal than there is in easy. In easy, there's just the enemies, and they rarely shoot, at least at first. But on normal, they are everywhere. And especially on expert, everything moves like a thousand times faster. The blue thing you see there is a clear all attack. It'll clear out the turrets there. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard to talk and play this. Really, like, I can feel my brain, like, squeezing itself like like a lemon over a juicer. Like, it's trying to get every... There, see, I got one of the option things there. So, um, that's just a little fireball thing that shoots additional stuff. Hopefully, I can make it to the boss without dying. The trouble with, uh... Look out. The trouble with, uh, games like Gradius 3, though, is not only are they hard enough just to look out on difficulty settings like normal they are hard um <coughs> excuse me they are um what was i saying i completely lost track of what i was gonna say oh when you die you start with nothing you lose all your power-ups like all your speed your ripple all that shit is gone uh -oh, here we go i forgot this gets this is much tougher than I remember. But yeah, the... Ah. I know the temptation when playing a game like this is to look at your own ship or look where you're firing. Really, what you want to do is just... There we go. Got past the first boss. Okay, good. What you want to do, or at least what helps me, and I suck at these games, and I've sucked at these games for decades... Um, I'm 33, so it's I've suck, I've had a, spent a lot of time sucking at shoot 'em ups. Um, you gotta kind of unfocus your eyes and just let stuff happen and dodge everything coming your way. Just dodge. Oh, see, I didn't even see that bullet because it was up by the numbers. It was hard to see. See, you start with nothing. Your slow ass ship starts with nothing, and you gotta contend with all these. Ships fast and furious, throwing bullets at you left and right, and it's just like it's too tough. You got it. I'll last as long as I can on normal. Look out! Shit! There we go. That was helpful. 
I'll last as long as I can on normal, but I will switch to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I'll la and I'll switch to easy, just so you can see, you, the viewer, can s compare the differences. Really, the, the main difference is that most of those ships at the beginning there are shoot bullets and projectiles and all that shit, where they just fly by you and, on easy, and it gives you kind of a chance... To, to build up your power-ups before the actual level starts. And yes, we are getting attacked by bubbles. And we want to switch to the ripple here. I'm surprised that bullet did not kill me. This is where the slowdown... Oh, I got greedy. This is where the slowdown really starts to take effect. Yeah, you go back to the beginning of the level. I think there is a checkpoint in the middle. But uh, I don't want to do... Speed up, and even then, when you speed up, it still might not be fast enough to get around these bullets because these bullets travel so fast. That's why it's important that you speed up right away. Bubbles? Really? Bubbles are going to kill my ship? Are bubbles made out of, like, acid or something? Or what the hell? All right, it's very, gotta concentrate here. Whoa, look out, <sighs> my goodness. Oh, there we go, that helps. All right, let's get the ripple activated. That should help significantly. Now I need to get the options built up. Hopefully I can survive the onslaught of these bubbles. Yeah, not only that, but you've got guys coming from behind you. Kind of cheap. But, uh, yeah, on normal difficulty, this game is really hard and very, very unforgiving because, like I said, you die, you start with nothing, checkpoints are very sporadic. Slowdown is brutal. A lot of people argue, oh, slowdown actually helps you because it, like, it's like playing the game in slow motion. It's like, ah, fuck. And it's like, no, not really. It really kind of doesn't help that much. It, it's more frustrating than anything. Because it's like the same stuff is still in the way. You just can't... Um... Uh-oh. This is bad. I I'm starting in a bad spot. I have no... See, this is what this is a problem with this game. You start in this... Look at this. Ah! Uh... You start in this impossible location with no power-ups. It's like, how am I supposed to survive that? Jesus Christ. Yeah. You want to start this game on easy. I will give it another go on uh, this difficulty level, just because I'm, I'm curious as to what, uh, where you start when you continue. I forget. Yep, you want either the, f I'll switch to the force field this time. Not that I'll ever get to use it, but, um, no, better go with the classic, the rolling shield. That destroys enemies while around you and in your path. Oh, you start right at the checkpoint? Are you kidding? Wow. I'll be damned. I would not have guessed that. I would have guessed right at the, at the beginning of the level. Shit. Ah! God, that's not even fair. They're too fast, and there's too many, too much shit on the screen. And yeah, you've no way of, of powering up. This is all you get, just a pea shooter. Uh, at least give me one more power up so I get a missile. Look out. Look out. Uh, no chance. No chance. Well, at least, yeah, you gotta remember you, you're... you're power-ups uh, carry over like the, the, on the bottom there, so you might start out with uh, a speed up. A speed up uh, thing. <laughs> that was pathetic. Alright, we're going to try again next time on Easy. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.